Hi Pidgey Pals! Today's video I'm going to be explaining about how I remove life rings or metal rings from a bird and I'm removing this red one right here and you're probably wondering why on earth I'm removing a life ring off a baby bird but quick story uh, this is one of the babies that was raised at my friend's loft and therefore he didn't actually have any of this year's rings and he only had last year's and life rings have to be fitted within um, the first couple of days of a baby's life otherwise they grow too big so he used last year's rather than risking the bird not being wrong at all uh, but thankfully i was unable to get some rings to him and we were able to fit this year's on so at least now we've got an accurate representation as to how old they are so i'm now going to insert this device between the bird's leg and the ring um, this is a uh, ring cutting contraption uh i'm not gonna pretend i know what the professional wording for it is uh but basically you can get these off amazon and i think this one cost me around 12 pounds and it is exactly the same as what you would find in hospitals or any er staff would carry these and yeah you can buy them i suggest you invest in one because you never know when you might need to remove a ring off a bird's leg uh in order to save the leg in you know that's cases of injury or so on and so forth so i've wrapped the bird up and that way it should lie still and let me work without wriggling around because i don't want the bird to be moving around and risking breaking its ankles and also i don't want the bird to be getting covered in dust so this will hopefully keep the bird calm and still and i'm applying pressure at the top trying to clamp this down i'm going to speed this up because this is a bit of a lengthy process to be fair um and basically, a bit like a tin opener, I am going to be slowly trying to cut my way through the metal of this ring. Now, the idea is that life rings are not easily removed. The whole point of it being called a life ring is it stays with the bird for its life. Um, but if you do need to remove one, then you're going to have a bit of a challenge on your hands, which is why I invested in a proper ring cutting device, because you can use things like uh wire cutters and other such tools but you risk injuring the bird because of the sharp edges uh you know, if the bird moves or twists around you you could potentially end up injuring them we used to use that method before i invested in this and it was tricky to say the least because it took at least two of us to try and hold the bird still and not risk injury and this is the safer method because i can do this one on my own so I need to make two cuts through this ring, one on either side of the ring, so it should basically fall apart and come off the bird's leg nice and easy. But because these life rings are a little bit longer than some rings, I'm going to have to go at it from both sides to actually make a clean cut all the way through. Hence why I've had to speed this up, because the original video is around 13 minutes long uh, and it's basically just me keep turning the bird round and reinserting the ring cutters and then rechecking and so on and so forth so definitely it's all worth investing in if you have birds that are going to have rings on because if something ever happens to that bird and you need to remove this ring for preservation of the leg then this is the safest and quickest method to do so and you can do it on your own and as you can see there the ring now just drops off in two halves and the bird's leg is completely unscathed, no injuries, no cuts, no nothing. And there we have it, all done. Well done, baby. And here he is. Biggest trauma he's had of his day was being upside down in a towel. Perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, there we go. Hope this helps.